Welcome. My name is Brandon. Please join me on this tour of the Coon Rapids Family Center in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Let's head in. Oh, looks like this part of the mall is now a school. We are going to have to go around the building to get to the mall section. As we walk around, let me mention that Coon Rapids is an outer ring suburb of Minneapolis that had a population of around 2,000 residents in 1950. It was incorporated in 1952. The population grew to around 61,000 residents by the year 2000, and has stayed at that level since. Alright, here we are at the mall entrance. Are you ready? Look at this place. It is still 1964 in here. I have never been to a 1960s mall that still looks like the 1960s. 70s, 80s, yes, but not the 60s. Wow. I am going to rattle through the history quickly, as there isn't much mall. The mall opened in 1964 with a Red Owl grocery store as its anchor. I cannot determine the original mall name, as I have seen it called the Red Owl Family Center, but that was a brand name. There were several Red Owl Family Centers all over the Midwest. An advertisement for the grocery store called this place Red Owl Family Center, Coon Rapids Family Center, and Coon Rapids Red Owl Family Center all on the same page. In addition to groceries, this Red Owl contained a restaurant and pharmacy. Other 1960s tenants of the mall included Amadors, Amadores, which sold electronics, Leaps Fashions, which claimed to be Coon Rapids' first dress shop, M. Haggerty Barbers, Coon Rapids Liquor Store No. 3, and Bennett Shoes. In 1972, the mall doubled in size and added a movie theater called the Owl Theater. This was the same year a regional mall, Northtown Mall, opened a mere six miles away in Blaine. The expansion is behind the wall we just saw, where the school is today. I will share photographs of the new area later in this video. One could walk anywhere in the complex until at least 2015. Management built the wall sometime between 2015 and 2018. Getting back to mall history, an ad from 1976 mentions that the movie theater had reopened on April 1st as the Rapid Theater. The ad also mentioned these tenants that had opened in the 1970s. Radio Shack, Zunker Kuzel Sports, Ye Old Workshop, which was a craft home decor center, Temple Book and Bible, The Beauty Bar, and Petland, a pet store that was, quote, locally owned and operated and, of course, supervised by Thumbs, the store's mascot. Do you know what or who Thumbs was? Do you have any photographs? I would love to see what Thumbs looked like. The mall also contained Minnesota fabrics, and fancy that, a store that carried a large range of items from candy to art glass to live plants. So what happened to the mall? A new main road was built about a mile east. New strip malls and box stores were built along the highway, taking away business. The mall also never updated. Nearly everything is stuck in the 60s or 70s, with the exception of Grand Slam, which still kind of looks like the 90s. Grand Slam is like a Chuck E. Cheese without a mascot. I'm just slightly too old to have gone to birthday parties there. The Anoka Hennepin School District has been in the mall since at least the year 2006. While I was editing this video at the end of 2021, I realized, hey, school's out for break. I should check out the new area. If it contains any non-school tenants, it might be open. Hey, check that out in the back. An old map is still hanging on the wall. Unfortunately, the new area was closed, but I was able to snap some quick video down the hallways.
you can see that not much has changed since the late 2000s and early 2010s. At least they repainted the gaudy tenant you saw in Greg Shaw's photograph. The Coon Rapids Family Center has been well documented by at least four photographers, so I'm surprised to be the first person to capture it with video. You cannot tell by the footage, but the mall was more alive in December than in my first visit in March. People were sitting outside the barber waiting for haircuts, and families were going in and out of Grand Slam. The abandoned Euro shop that Greg Shaw photographed all the way back in 2006 is still standing. Was this place any good? I am so glad I got to share this 1960s time capsule with you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Take care.